unleashing the Reapers three years ago. Doesn't count. You did that with Shepard. You're right. I was the Shepard from the very beginning. That just means you're old. Okay. So they're having an argument how of who's most badass or something, I guess. Hi. Right. You always pull through, Commander. We've received the supplies from Tactus. Everything good? Indeed. We've acquired some very useful equipment. As such, I've been able to enhance the effectiveness of our Medijal delivery systems. I've also collated information that Liara may find of interest. Check with Glyn. Oh, good. So that was you useful, I guess. Huh? I can oh. do this all day, Stars. Funny you mention those. Ever hear the name Archangel? I might have. You know you have. I'm Archangel. <laughs> maybe I heard something about that too. Hmm. Then maybe you also heard that for a couple months there, the crime rate on Omega mysteriously dropped while Archangel did a little house cleaning. So you ran a cleaning service on Omega? <laughs> Back on Fell Prime, I uncovered a pair of harvesters. Had to kill them by myself. Two worm necks, that's almost impressive. Oh, that's not even the best part. They left behind an egg. It hatched, and I trained it to let me fly it. That's <laughs> bullshit. The Alliance teach you to make up crap like that? Or did you figure it out all by yourself? It's a gift. Yep. Figured it might be uh, a load of BS. Alright. What have we, got we heard here, from then? Agent Detrace yet? She has not reported in for over eight hours, Doctor. She was stationed on Valchir when the Reapers invaded. I think we can assume what happened. Inform Agent Calamus he's now in charge of reporting Reaper activity past the lowest relay. Sounds cool. Perhaps we can talk later. Sure. Where's Glyph? Yeah, what is this? Um Sure. I guess that means more health, right? <laughs> I have no idea how much that cost either. What is this? Okay, cool. Nice private message there. Oh well. You've been through a lot, Scars. You giving up? Oh, nah, I got you. more. Just don't like to talk about it. Fair enough. We've all got one of those. Just one, huh? Yeah. Not every story has a happy ending. Except there was this one time I teamed up with a Turian named Garrus Vicarian. He was pretty good with a gun, but he thought he was some kind of hotshot. Yeah. Yeah, I knew this wise-ass Marine named Jimmy Vega. Sounds like a pole dancer on Omega. Always got on my nerves. <laughs> but the kid was all right. Had guts when it counted. And together they cured the genophage. And stopped Cerberus from taking over the Citadel. And finally kicked the Reapers from this galaxy and into the next. With a little help from their friends. Nah, it was just us. But mostly me. Yeah, definitely wasn't me all, you know. I did everything and they're uh, taking all the credits from me. I'm not, I'm not happy. I want, I want some uh, credit. Uh, why can't you? Look at that galaxy map. Do you know how many strategy games are built from that interface? You play strategy games? A few. Most are too flashy though. I prefer chess. I have a set made from rose quartz and hematite back home. I like the feel of something solid in my hands. Ew. Well. Now that I know your weakness, we may have to try again. <laughs> It'd be more fun than playing Edie. Edie doesn't sweat. You sweat playing chess? Depends on how much fun we're having. Cool. Uh, engineering. So this is just basically the talk to everyone session. Because apparently that's what we're doing. You Hi. should go see Adams, Commander. Oh no, it's this guy. Commander, I've identified a problem with our engines. A core overload could cause a plasma vent within the engineering compartment. 
What? Not only Edie and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. You see, the venting occurs when IES sinks are in a back cycle at the same moment the main core is at peak draw, such as from sustained kinetic. What Engineer Donnelly means to say is that we're confident we can make the system safer. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. Sure. I'll look for one next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. It's all good. So that's kind of like the uh, Mass Effect 2 one, I guess. Like it was something like that. Now we're going to get told, someone else wants to speak to you. Ah, uh, what well, again? Well, I guess we'll return to the Citadel some other time. But, not now. I want to go do some combat. Leave. Let's get the hell out of here. Now, what can we do? Investigate a sorry colony. We could do that. Could uh, find artifacts. Oh, well, that's the uh, where the artifacts are around here. Huh? Or we could speak to the quarians. Um, I've got plenty of time. I've got like two hours before I have to do something. So I could probably get all three done. Hopefully my voice won't go. I might have to take a small break in between. Just to take on some water or liquids or whatever. Might not be water. Uh, but we'll do the Asari Colony one first, and we'll see what's rolling on here. Hopefully I've got enough fuel to get there. It's quite a long trip, by the looks of it. I wonder if I can... Can I not do this here? I know I could do this at some other place, but... I guess not. That's fine. I guess. Uh, yeah, nice planet, bro. Let's go. I think I know what this is. I think I remember doing this again on my first playthrough when I hadn't played either of the first two games. But I think I know what it is. So, I don't think I'm going to be surprised. But you never know, I might be. We're all good for that. Look at all that Paragon. Slightly higher now. Got some Renegade as well, though. Yeah, I figured Garrus would have some stuff. Just increase the damage. I don't think it does that much damage, though. So maybe that was a bad call. Six points. Um, We'll put that in warp, I guess. for more damage just because it's good and me I think I was going to save for disruptor ammo so yeah we'll go with that I think I got more health now thanks to that cosmetic upgrade thing I did and I now understand why high command wanted to hide it we're headed to an Ardat Yakshi monastery oh good Ardat Yakshi like Morinth Morinth chose to be a killer these are Dot Yakshi isolated themselves to avoid that. But it doesn't mean they're harmless. Their urge to feed can be powerful. That's why High Command sent in commandos to investigate the monastery's distress signal. So what does the Sari High Command want us to do? If there was a chance the Ardat Yakshi could break loose, the commandos were to purge the monastery. Purge? You mean destroy? They would have brought heavy explosives with them, yes. Is that really Morinth necessary? Is dangerous, but are the Ardat Yakshi this big of a threat? Morinth was just hitting her stride. Ardat Yakshi who kill leave behind astronomical body counts. It's why they can never be free, and why they're such a great source of shame to the Asari. That's why High Command won't rest until this place is destroyed. They'd never risk a single Ardat Yakshi getting loose. Bombs are last result. Don't assume anything. Maybe the Ardat Yakshi sent out the distress call. If the Asari want us to destroy this place, I need to know what happened. Agreed. Once we give a report to High Command, they'll stop wasting lives here. Okay. I think this is actually quite a long mission. Or at least it's quite an annoying one. 
if I 